To use the options on the live screen on your ProView NVR, click in the lower left hand corner and log into the unit with its current password. First option on the left is shut down. When you click that option, it gives you the option for shutting the unit off, rebooting it, or simply logging out. The next option in the lower left is the lock screen that will also log the unit out. Setup will open the main menu. Search will allow you to do playback or search for files, and it shows which account is logged in at the top. At the bottom, you've got an option for a four screen layout, a nine screen layout, or a six or eight screen layout. Auto sequence will cycle through the cameras individually for a set amount of time before moving on to the next one. Instant playback will rewind the footage for the same day from one minute up to five minutes. Volume is for cameras with a microphone where you can adjust the output volume of that microphone. Stream switch allows you to switch between the high definition stream or the standard definition stream. Preview policy allows you to set either a real-time, balanced, or fluent video quality. On the right-hand side, the green check mark in the window means that it's successfully connected to your network. The manual mode to the right of that allows you to turn manual recordings on or off for any individual camera. This will bypass the schedule and force the camera to record continuously. The last option is an information pane. This shows all the information for current settings on the unit. Channel information shows the channel settings, what resolution it's recorded at, and frames per second. Record info shows how it's being recorded. Network state shows the current status of your network, what its IP address is, and if it's connected to the P2P successfully. You can left click on the live preview screen and options will appear at the bottom. You've got manual record, manual capture, which saves a snapshot when you click on that option. You've got instant playback. Clicking PTZ will allow you to zoom the camera in and out if it's a motorized zoom. If it's a PTZ camera, you'll also see options there for moving it left, right, up and down, as well as setting presets and tours. Color settings allows you to adjust the color options for the camera brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation. Stream switch allows you to switch between the high definition stream and the standard definition stream. Add customized tag is a convenient way to mark footage for later viewing. Click on the icon in the lower left and select search. This is the basic playback screen. Clicking event at the top will show a list of all the events that the cameras have seen with a snapshot of the event that happened. You can click on that file to play it and just click right on the screen. If you'd like to back it up, put a check mark in the upper right hand corner and then hit back up below. To view the tag that we made, click tag across the top. This will show which channel the tag came from and the date and time. You can edit the tag and rename it or delete it if it's not needed or you can click on the play icon under playback and it will play 30 seconds before the tag and 30 seconds after the tag.